welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and happy Asian month. And so I am gonna do a video where I think you guys should support the authors. So happy Asian month. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's get going. So my first one is Midnight Strikes by Zaman Zahnas. 17 year old Inez just wants tonight to end. As an outsider at the kingdom's glittering anniversary ball, she has no desire to rub shoulders with the nation's most eligible and pompous bachelors, especially not the notoriously roguish Prince Leo. But at the stroke of midnight, an explosion rips through the palace, killing everyone in its path, including her. The last thing Inez sees is fire, smoke, chaos, and then she wakes up in her bedroom. Hours before the ball, no one else remembers the deadly attack or believes her warnings of the disaster. Not even when it happens again and again and again. My next one is Snowflower and the Secret Fan by Lisa C. In 19th century China, in a remote human county, a girl named Lily, at the tender age of seven, is paired with a Lao Tong, old same, in an emotional match that will last a lifetime. The Lao Tong Snowflower introduces herself by sending Lily a silk fan on which she is painted a poem in new Shu, a unique language that Chinese women created in order to communicate in secret, away from the influence of men. As the years pass, Lily and Snowflower send messages on fans, composers, stories, on handkerchiefs, reaching out of isolation to share their hopes, dreams, and accomplishments. Then they endure the agony of foot binding and reflect upon their arranged marriages, shared loneliness, and the joys and tragedies of motherhood. The next book is Pan Chinico by Min Jin Li. In the early 1900s, teen teenage Sanja, the undoored daughter of a crippled fisherman, falls for a wealthy stranger at the Xinxun near her home in Korea. He promises her the world, but when she discovers she is pregnant and that her lover is married, she refuses to be bought. Instead, she accepts an offer of marriage from a gently sickly minister passing through on his way to Japan. But her decision to abandon her home and to reject her son's powerful father sets off a dramatic segment that will echo through the generations. So this is like a Mulan retail almost and that's the Mongolia's Mongolian sword, a ballad of Milan by Sherry Thomas. China 484 AD, a warrior in disguise. All her life Milan has trained for one purpose, to win the duel that every generation in her family must fight. If she prevails, she can reunite a pair of priceless heirloom swords, separated decades earlier, and avenge her father, who was paralyzed in his own duel. Then a messenger from the emperor arrives, demanding that all families send one soldier to fight the Roman invaders in the north. Mulan's father cannot go, her brother, her brother is just a child. So she ties up her hair, takes up her sword, and joins the army as a man. My next one is Dragon Rising by, this is the first book in The Hidden Warrior by M. Lin. Sometimes a battle is arranged on a bloody field, sometimes it's won within the heart of one girl. Hua Minglan wants revenge for the death of her sister, and she will do anything to get it. A war is brewing between power and, and the Kung warriors to the north, a war that has called every able-bodied man in power from the fields. When Hua's father is summoned to fight, she knows he won't return, most of the warriors don't. With a decision that could cost her everything, leaves her home behind an attempt to take her father's place, training under Commander Jian Li, brother to the Emperor. The Commander is a harsh man, a demanding man, and one with his own desire for vengeance. Hua can get too close, she can't befriend a man who is able to bring her deceptions tumbling to the ground. If, if he learns the truth about who she is, and will only see her shunned from the army for disguising herself as a man. It will end in her ex execution. Hoa never imagines that by joining the army, she brings a greater foe into the heart of Pot Piao. One of the Ku on only on distraction, one of the real enemy is her. My next book is Shanghai Girls, the number one in Shanghai Girls by Lisa C. 
Paul and May are sisters living carefully in lives in Shanghai, the Paris of Asia. But when Japanese bombs fall on the beloved city, they set out the journey on for a lifetime. One that would take them through the Chinese countryside, in and out of the clutch and brutal soldiers, and across the Pacific to the shores of America. So I actually found two of these books that I thought it was cute, and it's about cats. <laughs> it's really so cute. So it is the guest cat by Taka, Takashi Hirari and Eric Stalin, who is the translator. It is so it's about that transient nature of life and in the idiosyncratic and but deeply felt ways of living. A couple in their 30s live in a small rented cottage in a quiet part of Tokyo. They work at home, freelance copy editing, and they no longer have very much to say to one another. But one day, a cat invites itself into the small kitchen. It leaves, but the next day it comes again, and then again, and again. Soon, they are buying treats for the cat and Joy talks about the animal and all its little ways. Life suddenly seems to have more promise for the husband and wife. The days have more light and color, the novel brims with new small joys and many moments of staggering poetic beauty, but then something happens. So, it sounds really so cute. And my other cat book is If Cats Disappeared from the World by Janinki Kawamura. Eric Salen is also the translator. Our never these days are numbered as strange from his family living alone with only his cat cabbage for a company. He was unprepared for the doctor's diagnosis that he has only months to live. But before he can set about tackling his bucket list, the devil appears with a special offer. In exchange for making one thing in the world disappear, he can have one extra day of life. And so begins a very bizarre week. Because how do you decide what makes life worth living? So I already talked about this book, but I do want to mention her again. And this is the number two in Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. Just where the... Our Violet Ends comes in, and which is following an immortal assassination in 1930 Shanghai as she races to save her country and her love. So I'm just basically picking off where uh, Lady, Foul Lady Fortune number one has been left off. And my next book is The Spice World Trilogy number one, and it is The Spice World by Maya Ibrahim. In the hidden desert city of Quaylot, I think that's how you say, secret spice magic awakens infinities in those who drink the Mizwa tea. With, with an affinity for Ivan, 17 year old Imani wields a banner like no other warrior, garnering her reputation as the next greatest shield. While battling the dangerous Dingjin, ghouls and other monsters of luck and the sands beyond city limits. And this is like to sit in the Arabian inspired land. My next one is Off With The Heads by Zoe Hana Mikuta. Blood of Betrayal Me in the Sapphic Korean inspired reimagining of Alice in Wonderland, which tells the tale of two girls who twist the past, comes to light as they once again trust into each other's lives and beckon back to the dark, much filled forest where it all began, Wonderland. And also, I do want to make some notable net mentions, like we got the Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. We also have the Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan, where we're following Shang, where we're following Zing Yin, who is in the Daughter of the Moon Goddess, and she's going on a quest so that she can free her mother Shang He. I also have one more that's Shanghai Immortal, A Y Chao. I kind of already mentioned this in my 2023 releases, so it's just basically an adult fantasy with Chinese deities and demons cavorting in jazz age Shanghai. So that's all, the, okay, so now that's all the books that I have. So happy Asian month, I hope you guys are doing well. So please let me know what you guys are excited for and I hope you guys are celebrating. So please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time you post. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!